am so glad you decided to join us this evening. Um, I'm honored to be coming into your households. You know, God is so awesome. He's great and greatly to be praised. I am your host for this evening. I'm James Howard. I'm flying solo. I'm normally here with my better half. And um, I want to thank her for letting me come out tonight. You know, tonight we're going to have a great, great show as always. And uh, we want you to just tune in. Bring everybody around. Listen, if you're there, have them tune in. The number at the bottom of the screen, 770-300-9828, is the number to call. We're going to have Jokia with her number one single. Quartet legends, Spencer Taylor and the Highway QCs. I'm going to be talking with them as well. Right now, we're going to go to the music set all the way from Dallas, Texas. He's joining us tonight. Please welcome Malcolm Christopher II, and he's singing I'm Ready. trust in you, knowing that you're capable to do the impossible, equipped with your armor and standing on your word, and with no hesitation I surrender, cause I'm ready to do what you want me to do, yes I'm ready, I'm ready. Everything that others do If it does not please you yes, I might think it's pressure But I know it's better The greater one inside of me And that's why I'm ready Cause I'm ready Here I am, I go Yes, I'm ready I'm ready Ready, I'm ready. ready, ready You just let me know Yes, I'm ready I'm ready Ready, you know, ready, ready. I'm giving you me, myself, and I, and this time I'm going all the way. Here is my heart, Here is my, heart my soul, and my yeah. I'm ready. Put your hands together. It's just like fire. Shut up in my bones. I'm ready. Whoa. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Holy Ghost won't leave me alone. Cause I'm ready to bring this message to the world. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Ready, I'm ready. ready, ready. To every woman, boy, and girl. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you guys for staying with us. I am so honored and excited to be talking to our next guest. Uh, she's been a guest on the station here some time ago, and God has transitioned her, and she's been working and doing things, never stopped doing her music. She's a singer. She's a songwriter. And for her to capture the heart of God by simultaneously compelling others to an intimate relationship with Christ. Um, this young lady is not only a guitar player, singer, songwriter, she aims to deliver a sound that makes an impression on every heart that lends their ear to her message through music. She currently has the number one single on Billboard charts. Please welcome to Atlanta Live, Jokia. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. I'm excited to be back. Thank you for coming like back. Home. 
Yeah, it's all, <laughs> once you're here, it's always like come back home. It's always nice yes. to come back home. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I remember when we talked a, a while ago and careers sift and change, but you have the number one single on Billboard charts. How does that feel? You know what? It feels surreal, to be honest. Um, I think a few years ago, I shifted, I had to shift my focus. Um, literally, Kingdom became the direct focus for me. So by the time the things became added, they're great, but I'm still so honed in and focused on the Kingdom right now that um, hearing, hey, this record went number one, it's exciting. But it doesn't feel like it's me. I was like, wow, this is, like, I don't know how to feel. It's it's a process, you know? Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to use this moment to tell everybody, like, hey, you know, focus on the Lord. Whether it's num your record is number one or one million, you know, as long as you are being obedient to what the Lord has told you to do, um, that's what matters. That's what the Lord is looking at. Amen. Isn't it exciting to when you're doing his work, how he knows your heart's desire and he knows right. what you were called to do. And so for right. now, for you to do this, you have the platform, uh, you're singing, you're doing f phenomenal things. Uh, it's, it's just makes it easier to do ministry and music, doesn't it? Absolutely. Um, you know, ultimately too, you know, I look at how, the, the, like you said, the Lord knows what our desires are. They, he knows what uh, our purpose is. And so I think, you know, for ministry, once you get into the groove of understanding your purpose and your identity, mm. it's almost like smooth sailing. It really is. It's like, a, it's like a smooth sail. It's not so much contention that even when obstacles or challenges arise, you're able to continue moving forward because you know where your identity lies, you know what your purpose is, and eventually what will begin to happen is, you know, um, asking God to align your desires with his will. Amen. Um, family, family has always been first with you. How yes. are you able to juggle everything? Because um, sometimes, you know, as you're a songwriter, you have mm -hmm. to feel the song, you have to feel certain things. So. How do you juggle as a now recording artist, number one single? I know it's different, you can't tour a lot, but how do you juggle everything with your family and make sure that everybody gets a piece of mom, wife, and ministry as they always, always want, you know? Um, you know what, carving out that time, carving, carving out family time, um, and finding any space in any moment to be able to spend time we possibly can, even with the pandemic, using this time as much as we can to have together rather than fighting against, um, you know, uh, the, the time that we were in the house and different things like that. And then also to using moments to when I have to do things, um, including them in any way that they, you know, their gifts can be used. So uh, my youngest daughter, she's 18, she plays the drums. So sometimes when we have to minister, she wants to play. So she's able to play drums. Um, my oldest, she'll sing some, barely, you know, it's <laughs> like pulling teeth, like, please. So sometimes, you know, please do it for mom. So she'll come and she'll sing along. My husband, he's always, always, always with, um, with me wherever I go. And so just making the ministry, making music part of our family in any capacity that we possibly can. That's great. Um, it's a good dynamic to have a family so supportive to where everybody can um, be part and experience the part of uh, your growth in the music and the ministry. Uh, where do you see yourself going not just with your project, but where do you see yourself going in your ministry later on? Um, you know what? My husband and I, we have a clothing line. So, um, you know, we've incorporated fashion into the music, into to our family. Um, and so wanting to find other ways of uh, the entertainment mountain to be able to, to influence and encourage people to have a relationship with God. So that's the biggest thing um, is being able to do that. Um, also to literally inspiring other artists, that's a huge thing that wanting to be able to teach and encourage other artists how to be an independent artist or even a signed artist um, and how to do ministry and find that balance. Um, you say a clothing line. 
something yeah. casual, something like suits or a little bit of both? You know what? Our goal is to be a high-end fashion brand, so we okay. want to get to a little bit of both. As of right now, what you see on the site, uh, we have casual, and then we also have like some um, high-end leather bags. They are phenomenal. I promise you, with a promise, if you go to the site, you will love the leather bags. Um, and they have the godsend. I'm trying to figure out if I have one here. They have the godsend emblem on there, um, and yeah, actually I do have one. They have the God sent emblem on there. And it's, again, they're just, it's just a reminder. Um, and these are the little travel bags, little messenger bags. They can be worn as a backpack, um, or, um, as a, um, or as a messenger bag, as a sling. Oh, okay. So ministry, yeah. um, that ties into your ministry. And, um, as you're looking forward going with, branding your ministry and branding uh, the music and all of that. Yeah. Um, where do you find the time to take Jokia and just relax? Because everybody needs some me time. How do you do oh that? Oh, my gosh. I try to do that on Friday nights and Saturdays. Okay. Those are the days. I literally try. I, you know, in the past few years, I've actually learned even, too, um, about Shabbat, about resting. Mm -hmm. um, and finding rest in, in, in God, finding that rest, taking that time and being comfortable with, ah, if I don't do work Friday or Saturday, if I don't do that, that it's okay. My life doesn't stop. Work will still be there and a grace will be with me that the Lord has provided. And so, um, I try to, to use those days as much as I can, um, to really just take that piece, you know, and cut off the busy, the busy, busy work. Yeah, we need to do that because if we don't have that downtime, that time to rest, uh, finding out and learning how important it is for us as believers or just as people, as your body, you need the rest. You should get yeah. so much time for rest so that your body can recoup and rejuvenate. And, you know, I'm you're getting older, you're running and running and running, and I just got to take time. I, I really just have Absolutely. to take time. And, and relax those days to where you're not going to do anything uh, really sometimes are the best days where you could just lounge around and do what you want to do. Nothing work related or ministry relate, related. So um, your new single Yahweh with the video, uh, I looked at the video and I, 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 our, our viewers are going to be able to see it. Uh, who came up with the concept? Um, you know what? The concept was, um, it was almost like a mirror image of my experience. Okay. Um, it was about, you know, me kind of journeying along with uh, tearing down these things that I had set up in my life. So it was really, it was a really easy concept to be able to say, okay, let's do what the song is about. And let's do what the song was about for me personally. And that's exactly what it was. You know, you'll see in the video, there's moments where I'm, I'm writing and I'm, uh, you know, going through the process of writing music. There's a moment where I get in the car and I, I journey on uh, to get to this destination that the Lord is trying to get me to. And this destination is the completion of God saying, find rest in me, find peace in me, find joy in me. Um, and again, I'm tearing down anxiety, depression, and fear, um, all of these things that I was dealing with, um, you know, when, when the song came about. Let me ask you a question. Uh, we have other artists that, are, of course, are viewing in. Um, what will you say to them as far as the journey goes? Because some of them are like, you know, I've been knocking at the door. It looks like I'm here, but then I fall back. What would you say to encourage them? You know what? Um, so I can honestly say I realized that Jesus himself mm -hmm. had some opposition what it would would appear to be opposition really but um he had some challenges with the pharisees and the sadducees he had some some um some issues that came about with the religious church and um you're talking about jesus christ himself and so what i had to learn and what i would encourage any other artists as well is that challenges does not mean quit Ch opposition pushback from an industry or from an experience does not mean, oh, this is not for me. So if you are an artist and you are uh, yourself, 
you know, coming up against, I don't know if this is good enough. I don't know if this is the right sound. As long as, as you are in alignment with uh, heaven, you begin to make history. And, and and the history that can't be uh, mistaken, uh, shifted, changed, or broken once you come into align, alignment with heaven. Um, and I know that to be true because Jesus was literally the perfect example of that. Amen. That's that's wonderful. Wonderful. Good stuff. Um, social media. Can people find you on yeah. social media? How can they find you on social media? Yeah. So, listen, family, I'm on social media at Jokia Music. Um, as simple as that, Jokia Music, my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, um, my website, GodSentBW.com. You guys can find music anywhere music is released. Amen. My name, if you're, if you're wondering how it's said, it's like Nokia phone, but with a J. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, you know, I want to thank you for taking time all the way from your home in Texas. And uh, yes. thank you for joining us again here on Atlanta Live. Um, of course, uh, we want to continue to pray that God will continue to bless your career, bless your ministry, bless your family. And um, I'm glad to uh, reconnect again with you. Listen, don't Absolutely. forget, you can talk, uh, you can find out more about her on all social media, uh, Jokia Music, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so thank you again for tuning in and joining us, Jokia. God bless you. And listen, right thank now you. we're going to take you to the brand new video, the number one song right now on Billboard charts. This is Jokia singing Yahweh. Thank you.
purpose and a plan for your life. God has a, a purpose and a plan. He holds you in the palm of his hand. God has a purpose and a plan. Thought about the purpose that he had for you. Why you had to go through the trials mm -hmm. that you made it through. Although your life was handed, you, like you never lost your mind. You held on to your faith and let your light shine. Don't have a lot of paper to do what others do, but you've got a lot but of faith. My God, he covers you. That's true. And God has a plan, so seek him. The plan. Be strong in it. Just living in the pit. God has a, a purpose and a plan. He holds you in the palm of his hand. God has a. Be strong in it. Now I wrote verse 2 to encourage you. you. And every blessing has a lesson learned for you. Lesson learned for you. When your hope seems lost, just know that he's the one who paid it all. The only begotten son who will never leave you. He won't be lying. He's committed, deceived, believe it, don't you ever doubt. He's a promise keeper. He's always on time. He'll never be unfaithful because he's your life. God has yeah. a purpose and a plan. He holds you. Gotta stay strong. Just open up your mouth and encourage yourself. Yeah. Oh, purpose in a plan. He holds you in the palm of his hand. He's got the whole world. Yeah. In the palm of his hand. Purpose in a All right, all right. Welcome, welcome, and I want to thank you for joining us. Um, all the way from Dallas, Texas, Malcolm Christopher II. New single out. Uh, how does it feel? Talk to us a little bit about who you are and what you're expecting God to do in this season through your ministry. Well, I'm Malcolm Christopher. I'm from uh, Dallas, Texas. Um, I love God. I've been serving Amen. God all my life. Amen. I grew up uh, going to St. Paul Baptist Church, my home church. Now I'm a praise and worship leader at Eastgate. Um, I have a beautiful wife and a beautiful son, uh, Simone and Malcolm. Uh, we actually call him three because um, he's the third. Um, other than that, God's just been doing a lot of great things within my life, and I'm just happy. Um, I'm overjoyed. I just give all glory to God. Um, none of this would be, wouldn't have been done without him. So all credit goes to him. Um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, flowing in grace and allowing God to just use me um, to be a light to others out there that need to seek him. You know, you're a young man. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I think it's refreshing to see our young brothers serving Christ and loving Christ and understanding that through God, all things are possible. And, right. and, and being a young man and a young family, how are you able to handle everything? You have a young wife, a young baby. and How does that work with your ministry? Um, I just tell myself 
like with ministry to myself, with my family, just put God first, put God first in everything that we do. Put God first at, at, in the center of everything. And when you put him in the center of everything, everything works out the way that he wants it to work out. So. Amen. New single, Flowing in God's Grace. I'm flowing in God's grace. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that ties into everything else that you're doing uh, with the clothing line and everything. How can people find out more about your new single and you and things that you're doing? So to find out about my new single, um, just follow me on all social media outlets. Um, on Facebook, it's uh, Malcolm Christopher II. On uh, Instagram, it's uh, talented underscore Malcolm. You'll be able to um, learn more about the single there. And also, um, as far as the I'm Flowing in Grace t-shirts there too as well. So. That's great. That's great. And it's good that you're here. Uh, of course, again, we want to thank you. Thank you for bringing your wife out and uh, hanging with us on Atlanta Live. We're honored to have him. He's going to be coming back and singing some more right now. And it's entitled, I'm Flowing in Grace. This is his new single. Please welcome Malcolm Christopher II. We'll put your hands together. Hey. When I think of all you've done for me, Jesus, how you loved on me and told me I'm your own. But the world's so cold and such a sinful place. I'm just grateful, Lord, that I'm flowing in your way. The price of sin was costly
Welcome back to the show. We want to thank you guys for tuning in and staying with us. Don't forget, you can find out more of all the programming we have right here on WATC. Number at the bottom of the screen, 770-300-9828, or you can simply visit us at WATC.TV. Um, listen, I, I, I am so honored and excited to be talking to our next guest. He is a living legend. He's considered the godfather of quartet music and is soaring doing his thing at 93 years of age. He is a lifetime Achievement Award winner of the Stella Awards. Uh, he has uh, a new book out called A General Becomes a Legend. Uh, he, now, his group recently have sung uh, for the inauguration of our current president, President Biden and Vice President Harris. Um, he's known all across the airwaves and the music as one of the quartet and gospel greats. Listen, he has sung with greats such as Aretha Franklin, Sam Cooke, Johnny Taylor, and Lou Rawls. I'm so honored to be joined by, all the way from Washington, D.C., none other than the godfather of quartet muser, Spencer Taylor Jr. and his son, Spencer Taylor III. Gentlemen, God bless you and thank you for joining us right here on Atlanta Live. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. Thank you so much, Sue, for letting us in. We tell God thank you again. Amen. <laughs> we stay excited. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, I want to ask, how did it feel singing at an inauguration? That's a once-in-a-lifetime thing that you may never get to do, and people may never, ever get to do. Artists really want to do that. How was that moment for you guys to spread the gospel uh, during the yeah. inauguration? Yeah. I'm going to answer that for Pop. Okay. Man, it was awesome. Amen. I mean, when I say awesome, it was just super awesome. I was, uh, the other week we were talking to Dad, and I said, Dad, do you think this is bigger than the Grammy? He said, sure, son. We sung for the, 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 the head man of the United States. It, it was truly awesome, man. I mean, when I say awesome, it put tears in the eyes. It really did, man, too. And especially, like, going through this pandemic and the things that we're going through and when you have a man such as dad who came up through segregation and came up through when uh, black people couldn't vote and all those good things and to be able to sing for the president and the vice president was truly awesome. Wow. I mean, you're 93 years old. You're still singing uh, as the lead singer, of course, of the legendary group, the Highway QCs. Um, I want to find out what gospel music, what has it meant to you You've been doing this for over 75 years. Talk to our viewers about what it's meant to you and what it currently means to you. Uh, it, it meant uh, uh, everything, my life in entirety. I, uh, I started singing at home. My mother organized a group that was called the Taylor Family. Okay. And I was around uh, eight, about eight years old. And it, uh, singing was just my calling. Mm -hmm. And then I went, uh, after I got out of school, I went to uh, Chicago and uh, started singing in Chicago in churches and whatever. And then I joined the group they called the Holy Wonders. And in the city, the city uh, people uh, recognized the Holy Wonders as being the best group in Chicago during that time. Then I went into service and stayed two years, came out to service, went into post office mm. and stayed about six years. And then I went on the road with the Highway QC. Wow. Uh, which Sam Cook came from the QCs, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Johnny Taylor and I, we was there together. Wow. And uh, O.B. Wright sang with the Highway QC. And then in my coming up saying I had a chance to sing with Mahela Jackson yeah. uh, and all the uh, Clara Ward singers uh, and then like that. The singing has just been uh, my calling yeah. all, all over. And I'm grateful to God, still excited about it. And uh, that, that was it. Uh, <laughs> and right now, uh, I thank God for being able yeah. to sing at 93. Amen. At 93, be able to sing. We know 
you know, people who did not get that far and they couldn't sing anymore. But I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God that he saw fit for me to be where I am. Yes, sir. And then the next good thing is I got two sons Amen. in the group. And uh, that, that's inspiring, too. It's, to it's have two sons in the group. That's highly, highly inspiring. So God bless. And uh, I mean, like I say, I'm excited only in Christ. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm, I'm listening to you saying, yeah, you know, I sang with Sam Cook and Mahalia Jackson. I'm sitting here like, man, that's right. toast. That, that right there alone is like, wow, unbelievable. Just, you know, I'm listening and I'm thinking about how special it is that you were able to do that and you're still here as a living legend. Sometimes we, it, I, I really like to give people their roses while they're here. And for you, uh, just to talk about the history of the music is, is such refreshing and such an honor. Um, Spencer Taylor III, I just wanna ask you, being with your dad and seeing all of this and growing up around this, what impact has it had on you as a young man, as you're a young man growing up in the industry, and what has it helped shape you as a man going forward? Well, well it's awesome. It's, I tell everybody, I mean, I came, me and my brother, we came right out of the womb, right into quartet music. I mean, we've been in, <laughs> I mean, in it all our life. When we were kids, man, uh, you would have everybody outside playing tag, playing the G.I. Joes and all this. Not me and my brother, man. We used to play gospel concerts. Wow. We would have we would have shoe boxes and cut the shoe boxes out. Uh, that would be the group's buses. Like my brother's group might have been the Mighty Clouds of Joy, Pilgrim Jubilees, Highway QCs. My group would be the Wim Brothers, uh, Soul Stirs. Uh, you know, this is what we did. So we'd be out, we playing, we cut the men out, cut the PA systems out the drum sets. I mean, we had a full concert every night. This is what we did. Wow. So wow. my mom would come in there, boys, don't y'all know y'all got to go to school in the morning, so and so and so. We like, yes, ma'am. So we put the buses, the, the boxes under the bed and act like, oh, oh, the concert, oh, we going to Atlanta. So all the buses get on the road then before we go to bed. Uh, Lena called uh, the Wim brothers. Hey man, y'all all right on the highway? So when we wake up the next morning, we call ourselves and got to the hotel. You know, this is just, so when you say some young brothers that eat, sleep, and dream quartet, man, this is a true honor. Yeah. I mean, just to be with my dad. I mean, it's just, it's awesome, man. I mean, I, I, when I graduated from high, from college, high school, I had three full-ride scholarships, man. At my graduation, you know, after your graduation, they have the little party you go to. They say, um, Spencer, you going to the graduation? I said, man, we got a gig in um, Tampa, Florida tomorrow. I'm gone. <laughs> so, so, so when, you, you know, you, you think about a guy and he's so humble, yeah. you know, being around him, it kept me out of the streets. It kept me on a straight and narrow. It kept me in a you know, inspired, it, you know, kept that church feeling. It just, it, it's awesome, man. And here I am, I've been with dad now 38 years wow. to be here and living and to live in this dream with him. Man, I mean, it's, it's no other feeling in the world. Amen. I mean, it's, it's one of the greatest feelings in the world. This man here, man, I, just, I love him so much, man. I mean, awesome guy. Awesome. I love, uh, uh, a father's love and a, a love for your father. And of course, we know God honors when you honor your mother and father, that yes. your days will be long as well. So I appreciate you for honoring your father uh, going forward and being there for him. Um, yeah. Mr. Taylor, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, as the book is out, A General Becoming a Legend, um, why, was, why is it now that you wanted to do this book? How come you didn't do it maybe 10 years ago? I'm going to answer that right quick because he, he always shifts that question to me. <laughs> when you talk about Pops, you're talking about a walking encyclopedia of yep. gospel music. Yeah. I mean, this guy, uh, Thomas Dorsey, back, because, you know, back in that day, it wasn't hip-hop, this, that. It was just one, just gospel music. You know, the caravans and 
with Reverend James Cleveland, Pastor Shirley C. Albert, Albert, Miss Albertina Walker, and Miss Dorothy Norwood, all these guys, they traveled up and down the dangerous highways together every night. So the stories and, the, and everything that Dad knew, I, we kept saying, man, we got to get this on, on in black and white or in a, a movie or something. So uh, a guy out of Chicago, Illinois, Bob Markovich, out of Chicago, Illinois, and a guy I know of, Schaefer, out of Boston, Massachusetts, they are... Uh, we was on tour for about two years. They went around with us, man, interviewing, videoing, pictures and everything. So then all of a sudden it came to a little halt. Then God put in our path, man, Apostle Vero Yeah. He put her in, he put her in our path. And when I tell you, man, oh my God, awesome woman, man. Awesome woman of God, man. I mean, we love her dearly. Amen. She took everything that they did and put it together, man, and hey, here we are now, man. Two months later, Pop's got an amazing number one selling book, man. Amen. Um, I want to ask you, with the legends and with uh, quartet music, you guys are still holding that flame. Where do you want quartet, what do you want the people who don't know much about quartet music or are not listening to it as much as they used to, how do you bring them back? to the, 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 the good old sound of uh, quartet music? Um, the, well, I can answer that too. I mean, it's, it's kind of easy. To me, now this, I'm gonna start it this way. To me, quartet is the root of gospel music. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And it's nothing like them old songs, them old songs that just bring you through, man. So what we do, and even having a 93 year uh, lead singer, man, that is so cool. We come up with different ideas, trying to stay relevant, trying to stay new, you know, but long dead always say it's cool as long as you don't change it. You know what I'm saying? So we that's what we do, man. We try to mix it up, but we can't forget the old sound because the old sound ain't going to never die. Not going to you know? die. Go ahead, Bob. Well, like you said, like I'm saying, I said, the same thing you're saying, the same thing that I... Not that I wouldn't like to say I teach, mm -hmm. but it's the same thing that brought the quartets uh, up where they are. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, how could you change it? Correct. Ask yourself, how could you change it? Mm -hmm. I mean, if, because the first thing, you got to stay with Christ. Mm -hmm. And if you stay with Christ, there's no change. Amen. Amen. So Amen. sometimes it looked like, and I'm not going to accuse them, it looked like some of our newer group are trying to change something. Mm -hmm. But there's one God, you know, Amen. and no change. There's no change in God. Right. Amen. So I uh, really, and if you stick with that, if we got to know, we that know Christ, got to know that he gonna keep everything mm -hmm. right. You know, this is something I always say, and I say this to the younger artists too. We got awesome younger artists and up and coming artists now. I mean, awesome, but Always, like Pop said, keep God first. But always remember, go back and take a page or two out of what the old timers did. You know, because what the old timers did, guys, it worked. But this I mean, is the reason they where they are. Yeah. They may not realize yeah. that. This is the reason that they are where they are. Mm -hmm. The old timers, like, they set the page. Yeah. And the page... Is, that's the way quartet's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't accept the fact of somebody coming up with something new. And But the first thing, if you will come up with something new, come up with something, let uh, God fix that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he won't, he, it ain't no, it's not going to change. Yeah, so he's he going to put it where it's supposed to be. Yeah, 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 but that's great. So, I, yeah. you know, I, I we could talk all day. I'm, I'm, I'm honored. We, uh, we have to get to uh, the, the actual video that we want our viewers to see, but I wanted to thank you gentlemen. Tell us quickly how to find out more about you gentlemen, uh, website, social media, right quick. Well, yeah, you can reach us at thehighwayqcs.com, and then we all on all social medias, we on IG and Facebook. And, and matter of fact, we are coming to the Atlanta area Father's Day weekend. All right. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We coming Father's Day weekend, man. The Dorsey brothers, man. Paul Dorsey and uh, Jerry's Dorsey, man. And New Zion Baptist Church. Father's Day. We are coming to uh, 
the Atlanta, Georgia area, man. And we can't wait. It's been it's been a minute, man. And and you gonna be the Highway QC special guest that day. Too. Thank you so very much. I'm excited to yeah. be there. I can't wait. I want to thank you, gentlemen, for joining us right here on Atlanta Live. We pray that God will continue to bless you. Uh, upon your wildest dreams. And thank you again for joining us. Listen, we're going to take you to the video, the legendary Spencer Taylor Jr. and the Highway QCs. And they are coming singing, He Picked Me Up. Now go ahead and turn this one up. It's time to have some church with the Highway QCs. I was sinking deep in sin. Far from the peace for sure, but he lifted, he lifted me, and he picked me up. He picked me up. Never sleep with it, sinking the rise no more. But he lifted, he lifted me, and he picked me up. He picked me up. Now I'm lifted, I'm lifted. Serve the Lord, the Lord. He picked me up. Yeah, he picked me up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Now I want y'all to help me. The Godfather himself, Mr. Spencer Taylor Jr. Come on. Amazing grace. Yes, sir. How sweet to sound. He lifted. He lifted <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. 
air I breathe, the song I sing. The strength to move forward, you instilled in me. When my head held high, and my hands to the sky, yes, I praise El Shaddai. Cause praise is what I do, and I give it all to you. When I can't find the words to say, please know that my heart says, Thank you. You pick me up and turn my life around. Thank you, thank you. And you place my feet on solid ground, yes. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, I don't deserve what you do for me. Yeah. Thank you. Would I be grateful eternally? Thank you. Amen. Thank you so, so very much uh, for joining us this evening. Listen, I was totally blessed by Malcolm Christopher II tonight. Don't forget you can follow him on his social media at talented underscore Malcolm and then on Facebook as well with his brand new single, I'm Flowing in Grace. Had an awesome time talking with Spencer Taylor, the legendary Spencer Taylor and the Highway QCs and Jokia. And you know what? I count it an honor to be coming to you guys uh, when I'm able to come here and host. And uh, I want you all to know that God loves you. I love you. We love you here at WATC. Don't forget, you can contact us with on any of the information that you have or would like to find out more about the programming here, 770-300-9828. If you're looking for prayer, don't forget you can email us, prayer at WATC.TV. Until next time, of course, I'm one of your hosts, I'm James Howard. Right here, we love you. We love you so very much. And Malcolm is coming, and he's going to take us out singing. Help is on the way. God bless you. Come on, put your hands together. Hey. Everybody. Hold on. Keep on running, keep on fighting, keep on fighting.
in store for you so don't 